Allen. Let's go All right, so here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself think in this arena right now. Two of the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all of mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on this play tonight. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And they separate. Ooh, what a punch. Watch the strike there, counters with a jab. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice right hand. Single follow tie now. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Looking for the counter right now, no good. Down there, how good is his takedown defense? Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Takedown defense holds up. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single follow tie, and there's a takedown attempt. Unable to connect with. Oh, that's straight. Oh, he's a joke. He's a bad. Oh, he hurt him. Oh, he's man. Oh. Single collar tie there. Nice kick. Tags him with the left hand. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy, now he's going to try to attack Kimura here. Oh! He's going to turn on the elbow, and he's going to chase the submission finish. Tonight. And now he's inside the trip. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Close guard. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. O'Malley's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from bottom. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, 
big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. And how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Okay, you ready? Round two. Ready? Let's go, guys. Fight. Nice loop of punch. Oh, just open it up on him now. Missed with that right hand. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Right hand punch from the clinch. Whoa! Both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, nice! Oh, he postured up there. Nicely done. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. He's getting some big damage off here. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man, I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't wanna be there, it's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Back to the stand-up now, both fighters upright. That one's not in. Nice. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. He's got him hurt here. Can't take many of those, you better check. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And he continues to work the body here. Oh, collar tie. Nice leg kick lands. Hey, finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot <laughs> takedown attempts without securing one. It's almost like out of pity. You feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top of All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Under two minutes now in round two. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh! 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 He's got him right here. Oh! Nice and they separate. Oh! Well, the great 
Vincent Barboza would be proud. Another combination of leg kicks and paging the Iceman, paging the Motrin Man. Those there, are going to hurt tomorrow. There's just no tell. You never know when it's coming. That leg is so fast off the ground to get to the target. It's amazing. Beautiful sequence of strikes there. Nice combination. Ooh, big shot lands. All right, so again, he shoots for a takedown here. Looks like, oh! Fantastic strike at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. He got him. Some nice back and forth action here. O'Malley's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. What a round. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. Pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. All right, so he postures up and he's out. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground side. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Back mount now. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, you got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. He's a tight arm bar now. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. And he's out. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Lands the right hand. O'Malley's pass is denied. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Sean O'Malley. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Make sure he stays high 
Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. And attacking on bar. You got to recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you got to move him off, and you got to cover. You can't be off to an angle. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Wow. All right, full guard here, DC. We'll see how soon he tries to pass. Well, he needs to be passing immediately. In the full guard is where you are in most danger as a top fighter because they have all of their submissions. Right. They have the guillotine. They have the arm bar. They have the kimuras. They have all their locks when they're in the full guard. So if you pass, you really do limit the danger that you're in from the top position. Oh, man, he could be hit with one of those knees to the body. And he switches his stance yet again. Oh, that's a nice strike. And now he lands a combination. strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. All right, so a lot to like over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight and largely got it done with the striking. Yeah, he got it done with the striking. And that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. And that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 30 27. Play the winner by unanimous decision, Sugar Shaw. All right, so there he is. The celebration is on. He tried to leave the judges out of it.